Welcome. Hello, computer cooks, and welcome to another appetizer-sized Commodore 64 video. Get out, we're filming. Look at back. I've got the other way. Good boy. Now go back. So after that video aired, I got a lot of comments saying, please show us more of the dogs. And then after this video aired, uh, the extreme Atari 800 XL refurb, the happy little accident, me and Pete, who did the refurb, got a lot of comments saying, why not retro bright those yellow keys? Well, hold those thoughts because in my next episode, I'm going to be installing a Commodore 64 Mini inside a real Commodore C64. Subscribe if you want to see that. But in wanting to give a C64 Mini a working keyboard, I needed to use this. This was my spare one. But as you can see, it has a lot of yellow keys. Which brings us full circle back to that dishwasher. Now, contrary to popular myth, putting a computer component inside a dishwasher actually won't lead to corrosion from the water residue. The reason for that is that this soap contains anti-corrosives. And the reason for that is they don't want your cutlery and your silverware to start rusting. It's not a treat. It'll kill you. And of course, he licks his lips. Ready? Let's do it. So we'll put it on a one hour wash, make sure heat dry is turned off, and <laughs> he's excited. Here we go. One hour later, coincidentally, out it comes. As does the jet from the top of the dishwasher. Real good build quality there, Whirlpool. Well, that's terrifying. Here's how it looked before the wish dosher. And I've got to say, it has really cleaned it up really well. But if you look at the difference between the white characters on the front edges of the keys and the actual keys themselves, the lettering on top is very yellow. You can see it really well here on the yellow key. So I went to my local pharmacy, uh, picked up some uh, other other things, <clears throat> and got this Be Wild Peroxide Gel, 40 volume, 12% Salon quality, and it will give me lighter tints. But for this case, it's going to give us whiter keys. And to apply it to the keys, I got this wire keycap puller. And I'm going to um, throw that away and just use its packet. You see, I want this video to be a really simple process. I don't know anyone that loves removing all the keys from the keyboard, desoldering the shift lock, etc. I had a feeling that because the keys are dark and the yellow amount to be whitened is actually quite mild, that if I were to apply the peroxide gel straight onto the keys and just cover the white lettering or yellow lettering as it is now, it shouldn't actually bleach the brown of the keys and should only affect the white lettering. That's my theory, anyway. Let's take it outside and try it out. Don't eat it, don't eat it. Don't eat that, that's bleach. Don't eat the bleach, no. <laughs> don't eat the bleach. Don't eat the bleach. <laughs> You're crazy. Uh, so we'll leave this in the sun for about an hour and see what happens. Which means we've got time to take the dogs for a swim. That way. Uh, nearly drowned me. And of course my favourite pet of all, the pool robot. Honestly, the best investment I ever made after the dogs ate the pool guy. Oh, he doesn't like it. And seen here in a rare outtake from the movie Titanic, it's Kate Swimslet. I mean, sorry, Leonardo DiCaprio. Oh, it's peeing in the pool. Gross. She doesn't want to look. 
But while I was floating there waiting for the retro brighting, I was reading some of the comments on that Atari refurb video. It's had tens of thousands of views and I just love that people share my love of bringing those restoring stories to you. But one comment did say, please stop it with the dad jokes. So moving forward, no more puns. Hello, my young Padawan. Use the pause force. When your own son yawns at your dad jokes. Nice. Well, here we are, one hour later, no change. I decided to make it slightly less easy and cover it in a saran wrap. I used an opaque one just so that uh, the sun would be focused only on the top of the keys. Let's make a wish that it works. Hey dogs, give me a signal when the keys are white, okay? They're white now? I think that was a yes. It looks like our wish worked. Now in all seriousness, this was about another hour later in direct sunlight. Let's take it back to the kitchen workbench. Put that on eBay. Wow, look at those keys. Now what you don't want to use is alcohol. I'm going to put that away. It can fade away the lettering itself and also react with the peroxide. Just going to use plain old Fiji water. Disclaimer, it doesn't have to be from Fiji. Here's that yellow, yellow key before. And I think it is fair to say that this method works for just whitening the yellow lettering on brown keys. So I'm going to share all this info with Pete so that he can whiten up that Atari keyboard. And here's my Commodore 64 keyboard, ready to go into the upcoming project. The Commodore 64 Mini inside a Commodore 64. Sort of Russian nesting Commodores. Make sure you subscribe to check that out. I'll leave you with the dulcet tones of the dogs. Thanks for watching. Comment below and cheerio. Don't eat the blood. No.